Hi, today I'm going to make this beautiful flower called Begonia tuberous. It comes in these beautiful picotti colors or you can even make it plain without any outline. Materials I'm going to use are crepe papers in a rich orange and green, a green floral tape, some cotton wool, a thick wire and this is fountain pen ink, red in color. This is optional. If you don't want to use it, you don't need to. All the measurements are in centimeter. These are the stencil of the four petals. This is petal A. This is 4.5 cm high and 4 cm wide. The base is 1.25 cm. Cut three pieces. This is of petal B. This is 5 cm by 4.25 cm. The base is 1.25. Cut five pieces. This is of petal C. This is 5.5 by 5 centimeters. The base is 1.25 centimeters. Cut 5 pieces. This is of petal D. This is 6 centimeters by 5.5 centimeters. The base is 1.5 centimeters. The, <coughs> sorry, the cut 7 pieces. This is of the center. This is 4.5 by 4 centimeters. Cut 1 piece. And this is the sepal. 2.5 by 5 cm strip, cut one piece. Now take the thick wire and apply some glue on one end. Take some cotton wool. And put it on top of this wire. Like so, then take the piece for the center, stretch it, apply glue, and stick it on top of this cotton wood. Interesting the ends. Like this. Take the ink and dip the brush in it. Now I'm going to take off the extra because I don't want too much. So I'll just dab it on the sponge. And then just color the edge of the petal lightly. Don't put too much color otherwise it will spread. We just want kind of an outline all around the petal. Like this. So this will spread a bit on its own and become slightly wider. So I've done this with all the petals. Take the petal A, first just stretch it a bit on the lower side, just a bit, not too much, so it curves and then with the help of scissors just curl the top. So it becomes like this. So I'll do with all the three petals, petal A. Like this. Now put some glue a little bit on the edge, on the sides, and the base. Take the center and just wind this. Um, the top of the wire should be at the level, level of the petal. And just like this so this is what it looks like take the next petal and 
and apply it, oh, sorry stick it like this and then I'll stick the third one So this should be the same height from the top. And just open them out a bit, especially the last one, the third one. So it looks like this. Now take the five petals of petal B. Take one petal and in the same way as we did for petal A, just stretch the base a bit and go to the top. Apply glue so this will go slightly higher because it's curved on the top, you know, like this. Let's just stick it. So I'm going to stick the other three in the same. Take the petal C and curl it from the top and then just stretch, give a few stretches on the petal like this. Now apply glue as we've been doing and stick it on the center keeping the height in mind so it should be at the same height and at the, almost the same length so just keep moving and keep overlapping the previous one a bit just a bit like this so I'll stick all of them in the same way so this is how it will look as you can see you can make out the outline of each petal this is called a picotti kind of flower with the you know different colors in the same petal now take petal D and in the same way as we did for petal C just curl the top and just stretch the edge in a couple of places like this now take the petal and the same way as we've been doing, just apply glue and stick it on the flower. Now this could go as slightly higher in order to keep the same height. So it won't be at the same level as the base. Like this. So I'll just stick the others also. Take the strip for the sepal and apply glue on one side. Just stretch it a bit also. Now wind this on the wire just below the flower. So you may have to give a few crimps so that the paper goes all around. Like this. 
now just twist the paper like this now just pull down push down the petals the last few petals how the flower look so now just take the green tape stretch it and wind it from the base of the sepal till the end of the wire how the flower would look.